Powdered snow is a block that's kind of like snow, but if you step on it or stand on it, you will end up falling through it, and you'll start taking damage if you're in survival mode. Uh, if you have leather boots and you're walking across it with leather boots, you don't sink, and this block is kind of cool for parkour or for hidden base entrances. Tinted glass is just glass, but light doesn't pass through it. There's nothing more to say. The lightning rod makes it so lightning has a higher chance of striking the block that it's on. Glow lichen is just like a, a type of vine that you can't climb that you find underground and it gives off light. Only a little bit of light though so don't get too excited. The candle is kind of like a sea pickle in which you can place four of them on one tile and they give off more light than uh, glow lichen does but the only issue is that you have to light it with flint and steel. The other side music disc is just a, seek, a new music disc. Go find it yourself if you want to listen to it. Driftstone is a really cool block. It will uh, slowly drip the liquid that's above it into a cauldron. So you can now get infinite lava in the game. And another cool thing is if you jump on it, you take more damage than just falling on a normal block. So it's basically a spike. So I could see that being used in a lot of parkour scenarios. And it's very cool. Alright, we got some copper and new stones. Copper comes in four different stages and it will go up a stage the longer it's left out. But if you use bee, wa bee wax against it, it will end up being waxed and will not uh, change stages anymore. Um, you can use an axe to get rid of the wax and uh, the, the other stones we'll talk about more later. But yeah, they exist. The spyglass is just vanilla optifine zoom. Pretty much all it does is it will zoom in on the screen when you're using it, and it's alright, but it's still cool. Now, Deep Slate is a really cool building block. You can find a lot of it, and has a lot of different variants, and it's just so good for things like basements and dungeons. And also, Deep Slate Emerald Ore is now, I'd say, the rarest block now, because um, it's you only find it in mountain biomes, and you can only find it in a very specific layer of Deep Slate. Alright, it's time for a lightning round. We got glow berries, which are kind of like the uh, red crimson vines, but because you, you know you can like climb on them. But they also yield crops, which are edible and tasty, and like yeah. Next up, we got azalea trees, and these are actually a new tree added to the game. You can take the saplings and plant them and there's two variants you got the flowered and the normal version and they both just look really cool honestly they're just cool blocks that you know and then we got rooted dirt and hanging roots which hanging roots look kind of similar to uh the crimson roots and rooted dirt, you can take out the roots. I think by shearing it, I don't remember how. But uh, yeah, you get hanging roots from that, and then you just have normal dirt. And you can kind of make an infinite dirt farm with that. It's interesting. And now we got small drip leaf and big drip leaf. Small drip leaf is basically useless, it's just decoration. But big drip leaf is where the mm, very epic comes in. If you stand on it and wait like two seconds, it will end up, I guess, breaking it will uh, fall apart and then a little bit later it will pop back up again so it's basically a block that breaks when you stand on it it is so cool i'm imagining all the parkour possibilities as we speak it's so sick and now we got the amethyst geodes these are new almost dungeon kind of kind of structures that you will find underground and these have amethyst shards, budding amethyst, calcite, smooth basalt, and amethyst blocks in them. A lot of these are just decoration. I feel like they look decent. And then the amethyst you can use for tinted glass and the spy glass. Honestly, amethysts are pretty useless. They need more features for me to consider them actually good. And honestly, just lacking. I'm sure they'll get more love later on, but for now, they're kind of ass. 
Also, side note, do not, if you find one of these, do not break the budding amethyst blocks, because they will not come back, even with slow touch, and you need them to farm amethyst, because amethyst will actually grow on these am budding amethyst blocks. So yeah, be cautious, be caught, be aware of that. And now for the new mobs we ha they added. First up, we got axolotls. These things are really cool because, like, they're not like a useless mob. They give you regeneration when you're near them, and they'll attack guardians for you, and they'll attack fish in the water because you know they eat fish and fish and stuff like that. And honestly, they're like adorable also. I have an axolotl in real life actually. Here's a picture on screen. And there's also an ultra rare axolotl, so if you can find it, uh, tell me on my Discord server. And next up we got glowing squids. The glow squids are honestly really lacking. They only drop the glow sack, which that's fine. But the glow sack itself only has two uses. That's the glow item frame and... Um, I actually think the glow item frame is... It. I can't think of anything else. This is probably something else I'm missing. Tell me in the comments if you know what it is. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah, these things kind of suck. And now we got goats. Goats are the stupidest freaking thing to be added to Minecraft, okay? These schmucks absolutely suck, okay? These goats are literally useless. They don't drop anything except for a bit of experience, and they're rare. You only find them in mountain biomes, and they are actually programmed to push you off of cliffs to your death. So these things are literally just going to get you killed for nothing. These things suck. I absolutely hate them. Why were they added to Minecraft? We could have had frogs. We could have had chests and boats. All, luckily, all that stuff is still coming, so I'm not mad. Alright, and lastly, for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna play uh, some footage of me vibing, going around, exploring the caves, because they revamped gener terrain generation in 1.18, it's really cool, it's amazing, really good generation. I would give this a solid S tier, but uh, yeah, enjoy, and um, thanks for watching the video.